You want to get Neo Forge mods in Minecraft? Let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Neo Forge. It goes over everything you need to know to get Neo Forge up and running. The reason we have a text guide in addition to this video guide is because if in the future how you install Neo Forge changes in any way, this guide here will still 100% work. So even if in the future, 1.30 of Minecraft, for example, the video here doesn't work, this guide will still work. We also keep the most recent version of Neo Forge up here at the top. That means that the most recent video is up here at the top. If, for example, in the future, you're watching this and it for whatever reason doesn't work, but it really and truly should. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started. Once you're here, scroll down and click the download Neo Forge button to go to Neo Forge official website. Now, if you want the most recent version, right here it is, right? So we can go ahead and click on latest Neo Forge installer. But if you wanted an older version of Neo Forge, and when you click latest installer, by the way, you may be prompted to keep or save this file. You can go ahead and save it. But if you wanted another version, you go to four other versions and click the versions list here and then download it from this page where you can select your specific version, all of that stuff, and then click the download button here. While that's done, we have from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, Neoforge mods, and any other kind of mods you want, whether that's Fabric or Forge, to your server quickly and easily. Plus, there's one-click installation of hundreds of mod packs. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and get your Minecraft server started the simple way. Now, Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is move the NeoForge file we downloaded from our downloads folder to our desktop. So if I go to my downloads folder here, here it is, NeoForge, we can drag and drop this to our desktop, right click on NeoForge, and then go to open with, and then click on Java. When you do that, it should go ahead and open. If it doesn't, or you don't have Java at all, that's because you need to get Java in the description down below. Java is required for NeoForge and any getting NeoForge mods up and running. It's required for pretty much any Minecraft mods to be up and running. This guide here is always up to date to the version you need for the most recent version of Minecraft. Right now, that's Java 21, and the future could be Java 24. Whatever it is, it will be the version you need for the most recent version of Minecraft. In-depth text guide. You may also want to run the jar fix. It's going to take any jar files from your computer and link them back to Java and make them work happily together. But first, download Java, then run the jar fix, and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to do that. We want to right-click on NeoForge, click on Open With, click Java, and then NeoForge Installer will open. Now at this point, make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are closed, and we can go ahead, click Install Client, click Proceed, and it will install NeoForge. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played in vanilla Minecraft the version of Minecraft you're installing NeoForge for. For example, if you're installing NeoForge for Minecraft 1.22, this wouldn't work if you've never played that version before. So you want to go play that version, open it up to the main menu, close out of it, then you'll be good to go. But as we can see, successfully install Client Profile NeoForge. Click OK, we'll close out of that, and we can delete NeoForge from our desktop. We don't need it anymore. Let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, if you go to installations up here at the top, make sure that modded is selected. If modded is not checked, NeoForge won't be there. But if you check modded, right there it is. You can go ahead and click play and click play again. But if for whatever reason you don't have NeoForge here, go ahead and click new installation. You can name this anything. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then go and click the versions drop down box. Select release NeoForge and then change the resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see better, but you might want to do it as well. Most important part though is making sure NeoForge is selected here. Click install and make sure launch after install isn't checked. Otherwise, it will play Minecraft after you're done. That's okay if it does that, by the way, but you might not want it to. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has NeoForge with 1.21.4, the version we're installing here under it. Yours may say 22.1, whatever version you're installing. Click on play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with NeoForge installed. How do you get mods though? Well, that's done actually from the NeoForge main menu, but while this is opening, we can go ahead and download some mods. In the description down below, there's two links to get mods. One is CurseForge, which is here, and one is Modrinth. These are the popular places to get Minecraft mods, and you can actually filter on the left-hand side of CurseForge for NeoForge and the version of Minecraft you're installing mods for. Any mods you get must be for NeoForge. If they're for the Forge mod loader, they will not work. What that means is you want to make sure that you select NeoForge here and 1.21.4, and here are the mods that will work. You'll be good to go. We're going to go ahead and grab Waystone, so we can click on that there, and then go to Files. 
then you want to sort up here at the top again for the version you want and the mod loader you want. In our case, that's NeoForge. Now, you can go ahead and download this. However, I recommend clicking on any mods you download. The reason being is if we go to related projects, we can see that this has a required dependency. That means if you were to just install Waystones, it wouldn't work. You need to download Bomb as well. So let's go ahead and do all that. So we want to go ahead, download Waystones by clicking the download button here. That'll begin after a few seconds. And we will need to keep our save any mods we download from CurseForge. And we can go ahead and do the same thing with Bomb here. Again, filtering for our version and mod loader and then clicking the three dots and clicking download. Now, how do we do this on Modrinth? Well, the same thing kind of applies. You can filter on the left-hand side, 1.21.4 in our case, but it could be 1.23 for you. And then the mod loader, which is always gonna be NeoForge if you're following this guide. Again, Forge mods will not work. Fabric mods will not work. The same thing can be done here. We can go ahead and search for Waystones. We can click on it, and then we can go to versions, and then we can select the 1.21.4 NeoForge version, and we'll see the dependencies. Bomb is required, so that's how you can find those on Modrinth. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we can install these mods, because Minecraft is open with NeoForge installed. If it's not in beta, you can see that NeoForge is installed in the bottom left. There's also this mods button on your main menu. It's a pretty quick indication. Now, let's go ahead and find the mods we downloaded. Those are going to be in our downloads folder here. We can drag and drop these to the desktop, and to install them into Minecraft, from the main menu, click on Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Then drag and drop Balm and Waystones into your Mods folder, right like so. Now, when you go back in game, they're not going to be there. We actually need to click done and quit the game and then relaunch it now that we've installed our mods and they will be active. Every time you play Minecraft with mods, you're going to need to play with your NeoForge installation. Otherwise, those mods won't work. So we can go to installations up here at the top, select NeoForge or simplegamehosting.com in our case, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with all of the mods you wanted installed. In our case, it's just going to be Waystones and Bomb, but if you wanted to add 10 mods, 20 mods, 100 mods, you can do that. There are mod packs out there with over 400 mods in them. So yeah, kind of the sky's the limit on that. From the menu, we can click either to mods here and we can see that we have Waystones and Balm both installed and working. We can also jump in game here. I already have a world with Waystones installed on it. And once we're in game, we'll be able to see that we can get Waystones. Now there is one right over here already set up so we can right click and then we can teleport between these two. There's one here and I think it's, yeah, one there. And you can easily teleport between these two. If you wanted to place new ones down, we could just do that in creative. For example, if we wanted to place a black Waystone here, we could do that, place it down, and then we'll call this another Waystone. Click save, and now if we right click on it, we can teleport between all three of these, right? So cool way to get around. Obviously you can discover these throughout the world and villages, stuff like that, a lot more fun. But, and there you have it. That's how you can get Neo Forge mods up and running in 2025. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one. I am out, peace.